Hi everyone, Mike here from Hebden Photography back once again. This time, not so much with a retouching tutorial. Uh, from time to time what happens is photographers from all around will send me images and ask me what's wrong with them or ask me for some help in retouching or dealing with their very specific issues. And sometimes I respond to those by sending a video of me working with that image or diagnosing what's going on in that image back to the photographer so they can see it so they can hear my comments and and what have you and I did that again this morning and I thought to myself maybe it would be a good idea to start posting these and Mark who's the photographer of this image was uh, kind enough to let me use uh, this shot in uh, in this video I'll put links to his photography in the description you should check it out he's doing really really well and emerging fast okay so the problem Mark had is the image was giving him a strange texture uh, sort of a woven pattern over top and when the shot he gave me although you probably wouldn't be able to see it so I've expanded the problem here this image shows um, an interlace sort of like a fabric like a mesh pattern that's happening over top of it um, it wasn't this apparent obviously when he had worked the photo but um, just for to make sure that you can hopefully see it in the video I, I did this and this is the original shot and we're just gonna go through why that might have happened it's really really quick the issue with this particular photo is um, detail so I'm in Lightroom here and I can see in my histogram that there is very little detail very little brightness in this photo and the shadows are being clipped which I can tell because of this triangle here over here the highlights in the image are not being clipped out and it's gray but these they are if I hover over it we can see uh, indicated by this blue this is areas in the photo that do not have any detail they're so dark they're pure black and when it's pure black uh, the camera has a hard time or the, pardon me the computer can't extrapolate any detail out of that later and you can still brighten this photo up but it's at the expense of some grain or I don't know if you can see here but already we're seeing noise and that's what the 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 program will do is try and to try and create some sort of detail in there as I'm raising the exposure it's trying to raise the level of black but it's not changing that black up to white it's trying to create texture for it it's getting stronger here you can't see it too much in a small way but the more you try and you know deal with the shadows now here we are it's coming up the, the computer's creating this the program is running some sort of an algorithm to try and create a texture in here and hopefully you just don't ramp it up too high ramp it up too high and there it is that's just it's trying to create detail where there just wasn't any and it's obviously if you keep sliding it up you want some and it's trying to give them to you I take these blacks way up there's nothing there are still areas in the green channel that are clipping so here's how we deal with that I'll reset that image and take it back to what we were what you can do if you're operating at a Lightroom is you can select the areas that are not clipped that blue stuff is clipped so if I want to take my adjustment brush right here on my keyboard I'm going to type O just so that you can see that's for overlay mode of my brush and you can see where I'm brushing we can see where my brush is kind of painting over our subject and I can reduce the size here are where I went over the lines into the uh, into the black I just hold down the alt key and you can see it becomes kind of a minus sign in there and that is going to subtract the areas that I paint on from the areas where the adjustments are going to take place and you can get as detailed as you like with this I'm going to hit the O key again turn that off I'll shut off my clipping here so you can see that now this adjustment brush this adjustment is just going to take place in that area so when I lighten up the exposure or 
brighten up the shadows a little bit. It's not going to create that texture from nothing. You can change the. There we are. Overall brightness. I can make my adjustments now just to the model or just to that area, whatever those adjustments are going to be. Um, that isn't the last of the changes. You can, you know, I can bring this up and then turn that adjustment brush off and I'm back into making global adjustments again, which I can do. If I take, pardon me, that was supposed to be shadows. If I take these sliders up too far, sometimes you can back them down with the blacks. I mean, the adjustments that you make to this photo are going to be obviously up to you individually. If I wanted to deal with the same problem because um, Photoshop doesn't really have an adjustment brush, I can open the same image inside of Photoshop. Here it is opened up in Photoshop. Y you can use your s any selection method that you like to use. You want to go freehand around or you want to get your pen tool out, you want to try using your quick select, whatever it is. you can go ahead and select the area and what we're trying to find here is the area that I want those adjustments to affect not the areas that I don't and I don't want to affect these blacks because I know they're clipped and adding any detail to them is not gonna be uh, good so now that I have this selection any layer I want to choose say I wanted to add an exposure layer just up the exposure of this model I click that layer it's going to come with a mask already on it so that it only affects the areas in white click on that see what we've got there so all of the adjustments that I make are now only going to happen to our model and they're not going to create that texture uh, that fake texture and you can make the adjustments uh, however it is you like them. The neat thing about it is um, if I'll just reset these so that they're normal. If I wanted to, if I had made an adjustment and I wanted to create another adjustment, I just hit the control key and select the mask here. There's the layer mask. Control and click and it reselects just exactly what I have masked out here and then any other layer I want to add, a hue saturation layer, there it is, it comes with that mask already applied and I can start making the changes as I see fit. Now I'm not doing any real retouches here and I have no intention of um, retouching this image because it wasn't, it wasn't intended for that when it was given to me so I'm just showing you how to that was what the problem was this is all clipped it doesn't mean the image is useless but it does mean that global adjustments or adjustments to the entire image are going to cause you some troubles so you can leave this black out here and just work with the areas inside I hope somebody learned something have a great day